two belts and I need to make it into one. So we're going to splice them. And the way we're going to do that is cut a tongue on one and cut a slot on the other. And they'll fit over each other. And I'm going to come in and drill in each cog and we'll put a little screw in there. It'll go from one side to the other, there'll be a nut on the other end. And we'll, that'll connect the two nice and solid and it'll make allow it to flex around the pulleys no problem. So that'll contain it nicely. Now I'm going to mark where the end is and then I'll put it in the mill and this side here is the true side. We'll find center there and move over and make our slot. So that one inch wide belt will make a half inch slot. That means there'll be a quarter inch strip on each side of the other one when it splices to it. Okay, I found center. There's my start of the belt. There's where I want to go to. I'm over uh, a quarter inch from that side edge. So this is a quarter inch end mill. I'm going to come down, drill through the wood, come in, cut up to the edge, move over to this side and come back out. Looks pretty good. I'll trim some of the ragged edges off. That's about exactly what we wanted. I'm going to take this uh, tongue, the other end, out of its clamp. Just came out of the mill. Same as the other one. We milled the sides this time. It's okay. It needs a little cleanup. So I'll clean that up and the two of them will mate perfectly. The uh, end mill obviously leaves a radius, so we need the a radius here to match the radius at the end, and we need a radius down here to match on this corner. It's a little more work, it looks like. So there's the final splice. It's a pretty good fit. You know, there's a few minor errors that'll come together as I bolt it. But the next part is we're going to line it up and drill through each one of these teeth and put a small screw through, through it and a nut on the other side. And then we'll lock it all down and that'll be a joint that won't come apart. I'm working on splicing the belt together now. And what I've done here is I've used these roll pins to go in between the belt in the uh, slot for the cog there and that's lining up the two sections of belt. So I'll bring it up here you can see what's going on. So as you can see there's the splice and these are going to help line it up so that when I uh, drill this hole for this pin to hold it together that it uh, it'll stay in alignment and these teeth will mesh properly. So this is the pin I'm going to use. <coughs> It's a number 256 screw and it will go in just like that, have a nut on the other side through each one of these teeth in the splice. So I'm going to have to drill that hole and it's about an 85 thousandths diameter screw. Well, that's one. We'll go back and put 
four more in there. There's our joint, just a little uh, cleanup and get some nuts on the other side. We'll be in good shape. So I've started one of the nuts on the far side here. So I'm just gonna take it down until it goes close to flush. That's good. I'm gonna do the same thing on these other ones and then I'm gonna use a little super glue to just put on the end there so they can't back off. So I've got Okay, I've got all the nuts on now. And now I'm going to just put a drop of super glue on each one. Just to keep the nuts from backing out. So here's a splice and this is the idler end and the way it's set up this splice will always go over the idler pulley, not over the driven pulley. But you can see it goes over just fine. I've got that motor fully assembled, the drive chain's on, and I'm itching to try it, so let's see how it does. 